Hi everyone, it is Sarah. Welcome to another video. This week we are making solid sugar scrub cubes. The recipe that I used will be linked below because it came from a recipe that I got from Royalty Soaps, Katie Carson, she's awesome. Anyway, these are very highly moisturizing sugar scrub cubes. Uh, they have a nice lather because of the glycerin soap base that is used and they smell wonderful. Today I am making and showing them in four cents. I will make one cent on camera and then I'll show you the cut in the packaging of the other four, of the other three, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy this week's video. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, you guys, welcome to the workbench. So you can see here I'm set up and I'll adjust the angle so you can see my scale better uh, in a few minutes. And I'll show you the recipe I'm using. I don't take credit for the recipe. I got it from Royalty Soaps and I will link that below. So the sugar scrub cubes, they require four ounces of a glycerin soap base, which is like a melt and pour soap base. And the kind I'm using can handle four to six percent of additives. But it's a little different since I'm adding the shea butter and the oil, so and the sugar, because the shea butter, the sugar, and the melt and pour will all uh, allow them to be hard, so it won't be bad. Anyway, I'm using two ounces of grapeseed oil, two ounces of shea butter, and 10 ounces of sugar. Sorry, I kind of rubbed my one off. So I've got my grapeseed oil here. You can also use olive oil or sweet almond oil. This is just what I have on hand and what I like to use when making these. The shea butter I've got, <laughs> I have a little bit of everything. I've got some refined shea butter that came from Nature's Garden in a kit that I can finish. And then I've got some African shea butter that is 100% natural. And this is refined. This, sorry, this is just on the outside. But this is from Amazon, and you can see that it's a nice white color. And when I reordered it, I didn't realize that I ordered the unrefined kind, so this one's gonna be a little bit yellow. So I'll mix and match these and um, go from there. I've got my glycerin soap base, which is all cut up into cubes and ready to be sectioned off into four ounce sections. I've got my fragrances, which I'm going to hopefully, if I have enough molds, try to make four different kinds. I'm gonna make cherry almond, since I have a cherry almond soap that's being up for sale soon, or now, I guess. And, um, is that one up? It'll be up soon. Anyway, cherry almond, um, it's a really nice gender neutral, kind of smells like a Jergen scent, and it's a nature's garden. I've got another nature's garden. This one is called Caribbean Sunset. It smells really divine. And I think it'll be really nice kind of going into the spring and the warmer weather. <clears throat> nature's Garden Bedtime Baby. This is my preferred lavender scent. And I did just make a lavender soap like this. So I think that'll be nice having coordinating products. And last one, this is Nature's Oil. I get these through Bulk Apothecary though I believe you can find them in an Amazon store as well. And this one is called Mountain Rain. It's neutral and watery, but it could also sway a little bit masculine. So I just wanted to try that and see how it goes with customers. Of course, I've got my container. Woo! I've got my container of sugar. Sorry to bump the camera. And then I've got a bunch of uh, pouring pitchers and silicone spatulas, my gloves, measuring cup to scoop out my sugar, a little tablespoon measure to scoop out the shea butter, my little plastic cups. I get two or three ounce plastic cups. I can't remember what size they are but I get these from Amazon to put in my fragrance oil so I'll measure that out in these of course I have a scale 
and plenty of stirring utensils. And if you don't want to use the scale to measure out your fragrance, you can use pipettes. We're going to use um, 0.2 ounces, but I have a scale, so I might use the pipettes to transfer it so that I get exactly the number that I'm looking for. So the pipettes also come in handy for oil. If I get too much oil, I can put a little oil in a cup for the next round. <laughs> I have my laser thermometer. So my table is apparently 73 degrees. I've got my molds and the colorant today. I have some liquid colors that I got from Michaels. I like to use them when I use glycerin soap because they can bleed and they don't work well in many other things. But for some of these that are going to be solid colors, and even the sunset that I think I might use two colors, I don't mind so much if it bleeds. The first thing that I'm going to measure out is my sugar. And it's a little clumpy here. So let me break up some of these clumps. You can see that I have my scale set. It's on ounces right now. Um, I do not use grams for this recipe, so if you use grams, you'll just have to use Google or some other app that you enjoy to convert it. And let's see. We want 10 ounces of sugar. And I just use white granulated sugar nothing fancy. It's the most affordable. There's some clumps in there and I'll get them out. So. Eight and a half ounces, about nine ounces. So nine point nine one. We're looking for ten. Ten point oh one. I am satisfied with that number. So the next thing we have here is my container and I'm going to set it on the scale, zero it out, and I'm going to have four ounces of the glycerin soap base. Way too much. Five point oh nine, four point six five, four point twenty one. Okay, and you can see I'm almost there. So I'll just take my little knife. Four on the dot. Okay, perfect. So another container because it's just a little easier. And I'll pour my two ounces of grapeseed oil. I use similar containers so you can see it's already zeroed out. Two point eleven. A little too much, a little heavy handed. So 
Oof. I keep shaking this. I'm sorry. Two point oh one is good enough for me. So we need two ounces of shea butter, and I'm starting with this little bit that I have left, adding it in with the grapeseed oil. Let me take this off here so I can... I've got another container here that has bits and bobs of shea butter from something else I was doing. So let's see where we're at. 0.38. Okay. 0.74. Okay, 2.04. So happy with that amount. I will melt these down really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so you can see I've got my melted shea butter and my melted glycerin soap here. And while I let them cool just a smidge, I'm going to measure out the cherry almond scent. And what we're looking for is 0.2 of an ounce. So, point oh seven, point fourteen. Perfect. Got point twenty one. That should be just fine. Yes, I have a deep red color. So we're going to put the glycerin soap kind of here. Hope that works out better. Stir this glycerin soap, and they want it to be one hundred and twenty five degrees. You can see mine is one seventy three. It's a little hot, so. It will be plenty fine for me to mix in my color and to mix the oil together, but I'm going to wait a little bit to mix in the sugar because I don't want the sugar to start to melt. And so let's add some color. These ones, I think, because I don't have a really good tan liquid colorant, I'm just going to make these ones all kind of burgundy try to get as much out of here as I can this one is just about finished let's see I just sucked up some of the oil in hopes to try to get some of the color out. so let's see here if I can get some color payoff oh yeah so these will be plenty red. Okay, this is perfect. Let's check our temperature again. The more you stir, the more it will help the temperature drop. 154, okay. So I feel pretty good adding the fragrance now. You always wanna make sure that you don't add it above the fragrance flash point because then it can burn off your scent. This scent smells so nice. I think it will be really good as a sugar scrub. Okay. Now we're gonna add the oil. 
And once again, this is just grapeseed oil and shea butter that I melted down. It took about 20, 30 seconds. So you wanna mix these so that they're well combined. And then we wanna just start putting the sugar in, little by little. And especially if it's cold, which we'll see what happens since it is cold in here today, it might get hard really, really fast but you'll see it starts to slurry and you just wanna make sure that it, you mix it very, very well. gonna get a little thick on you so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 10 seconds and then come back so that it's thin enough to pour okay so to be transparent with you guys okay. I'm just mixing this this was in the microwave for more like 15 seconds and it still feels too thick to pour so we're gonna put it in just for a few more seconds my microwave is really old so you want to babysit your microwave and have your mold ready okay so welcome back I just got these out of the microwave and I put it in for about 20 seconds you can see the liquids are definitely more liquid but the sugar is still in granules so this feels like the perfect texture for me to pour. I was gonna use this mold, but since this is a one color, I have just a basic mold that I got from Michaels. You can find these at Hobby Lobby, you can find them online, Brambleberry, other sources. And I'm gonna pour it in here. And when we cut it, after it hardens, you'll see how it comes out and what I do. Oof, sorry. Probably not gonna redo that shot just because I was pouring it in. I try to redo the ones that I bump, but that one was kinda not gonna happen. Scraping just a little bit more off camera so I don't completely sabotage the shot with all the bumping. And I'll just tap it out on the top. I don't use this kind of mold anymore for making soaps. They're too wide and too short for what I like, but it will do for this recipe. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just give it a little wiggle. Doubt there's any air bubbles, but it's always good to just give it a little bang, especially if yours is a bit thicker. And then I will spray the top with alcohol just in case there are any bubbles. And then I will put this to bed and off camera I'm gonna do this three more times with Caribbean Sunset, which will be purple and peach, I believe. Uh, cherry almond is already finished. Mountain Rain, I'm going to use some blues, maybe two different blues and Bedtime Baby, which is my lavender scent. I'm going to do purple also. All right, you guys, I will see you for the show off and then the cut. Hey everyone, it is the next day and we are back at the workbench with the solid sugar scrub cubes that we started last night. Today, they will be made into cubes. So the first thing that I've got here 
on my little, I use a silicone, by the way, I use a silicone, silicone, <laughs> a silicone baking mat that I got from Timu very, very cheaply to work on. It helps protect my space a little bit better. But anyway, so first I'm going to pop this one out of the mold. You can see there's a little bit of white in there. Don't be freaked out by it. It is just the shea butter that is kind of doing its thing. You can freeze these to make them easier to cut faster, but I just left them overnight. I'm going to plop it out and place it on a paper towel, and that will just help absorb any leftover oil. And you can see it is very, very solid. So this is the cherry almond scent, just to remind you. I've got more scents over here and I'll show you those today since I did not show you the making of them last night. But I'm gonna just set it on the paper towel and then kind of let each side dab for a moment. And so here's my cutting board. I'll save the other paper towel for the next one. And if you make them with big logs, kind of like this, let me just cut this in half. Of course, everything has been sanitized and sprayed with alcohol. So if you make them into big logs like this, you can just cut them down like so. get this done. I'm going to make them into cube shapes because they are supposed to look like little sugar cubes. I try to keep them relatively uniform in size, but like these ones, if I don't cut this in half, it's going to be really big and awkward. So I might just cut it in half and have some really, mm, no. On second thought, no. So these ones, just gonna cut like that. And I would like to get four cubes. So here are the cubes. And then these ones I'm gonna cut a little bit thinner since they're wider. We'll start with cutting it in half. Um, nah, we'll just do the same thing. And like that. Okay, so back in line, cut it. So once again, cut these into cubes. Sorry, if this is an awkward angle. Do your best here. If you freeze them, they'll definitely be a little bit harder and will not get melty on you. It's just up to you. And then I'll cut them about in half. And then from there. If you feel like it's melting a little too much, you can always adjust how, many, how much liquid oil is in there for yourself, depending on your environment, where you are, or you could probably... I, I have these five here, and these are all lavender chamomile. This one is not, so we'll ignore that one for a moment. Summer? However, I will say, for summertime, I make a solid sugar scrub that is round with just glycerin soap and uh, sugar. I do not add any additional oils, and they hold up very well since there is nothing additional that can remelt. But you can see the cubes. And so now right now it's February, if you're watching this anytime later. But I have some that I made for Christmas, and I will show you how they hold up in the water as well. Even if you let them just kind of hang out in your cabinet for a bit. My cat once again is locked outside, if you can hear him meowing. He literally sits on the windowsill and meows at me when I'm working in my office, and I don't want him in here. So, that's kind of fun. Okay, so I'm going to And of course, this is probably silly to say, but never get rid of any of the small bits, because it's always something that your customer could use. And the way these work, you'll see during the test, you can smush a couple cubes together if you want a larger experience, a larger part of the body totally, and I guess I don't know what Next, we've got Mountain Rain. And I have two 
thin. Like I said, some of them are thin. Some of them are thicker. All sizes are fine. The purple is the Caribbean sunset, which I believe I'm going to call tropical sunset. So, I'll try to get my three stacks here. I've got like a peach color and a fuchsia color and I wanted to do at least one that had multiple color options I think that'll look really pretty with the name tropical sunset in the jar and it smells so delightful So I am back. I've got an eight ounce uh, jar that I've got teared on my scale. And I'm just going to fill it up, start filling it up with some Caribbean Sunset. We will add some colors. I honestly don't know how much it's going to take to fill this jar. So that's kind of what we are exploring and seeing as well. Let's put pink over there. Got some purple, some orange, some pink. I would love if I could get to six ounces, but I don't think I can. Oof, slid away from me. Right now we're about four and a half ounces. Four point nine two. Okay, so this one I got to five ounces. Probably can't see it very well. Let me put the lid on and then you can see how pretty it is. I think all the colors in this are absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is the end of the video and I just wanted to let you guys know what I got. Okay, so I finished labeling, weighing, and all that kind of stuff, and it took me a long time to print labels and to figure out my Cricut because I'm still new at that, so this video is going to be going up on Monday instead of Sunday, apologies, but I wanted to show you the finished products. We have four mini sugar scrubs 
and these weigh two ounces. Most of them weigh two and a half ounces, except the lavender, it came in a little over two. So I had to drop the weight in the label. I don't know why, I'm not sure what I did, but we've got mini lavender chamomile, and then the bottom has the directions and the ingredients. And I'm just so proud of these. Mini cherry almond, mini tropical sunset. These are pretty. This one doesn't have too much in color variation because I added more color variation to the large ones. Mini mountain rain. And then we've got mountain rain. Label on the bottom also for all of these. Tropical sunset, and look how pretty these ones look in the jar. I'm thinking these ones might really be eye-catching. So. And I like these labels, how this came out. I just make these on Canva. Cherry almond. Give them a shake. They look more full, but they all have over five ounces of product in them. And lavender chamomile. All right. Next in this video is the lather test. Hey guys, we are in my kitchen for the test. And this is one of the tropical sunset. You're going to apply it to water, apply some water to your hands and then give it a really good crush. You can see, smush it in your hands. It's gonna work up into a paste. I'm using my thumb, sorry. I'm using my thumb <clears throat> to mash it in my palms. And then once it is mashed, whew, once it is mashed really nicely, we're going to take it under the water. And keep rubbing. Apply it to whatever body part. You can see the foam is really, really nice. The exfoliation is really, really nice. Sorry. There's the lather. And this can cover a large part of your body. I'm just doing my arm on camera. So, it doesn't make your skin feel sticky at all. It feels very hydrated thanks to the additional shea butter and grapeseed oil, but it does not feel sticky. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. For more updates, I will be trying to make videos available to you every Sunday and feel free to check the community tab just in case there ever is a poll if I can't decide what to make. See you guys next time. Bye.